perfect. All right, so look, now we're gonna go, just start with these two, so when they grab the, the pants, okay, for the more advanced guys, we, we use that a lot, so that becomes a little bit harder, right? So our standard one, right? So there's two different wa uh, ways guys like to break. Um, they like to go in here, okay? And they like to peel from the, from the, from the uh, wrist this way. So they have to grab the whole hand, right? Okay. So from there, they're still gonna do the same thing here. Collar, sidestep, here, and then come back. I don't like that one, because it's just, I don't, fiddle on, I don't have a grip on the, on the knee. All right, excuse me, on the pants. So here, back step sit, feeding through, gripping. Now I'm sitting here, sidestep, here. Now. I have to be sure, so when I'm pulling him, I'm pulling him onto his side, I'm pulling his grip towards me as I kick as well. Here, here, kick and pull. And then now I can flatten him up. Remember that one, guys? Okay. So same thing, side step. At the same time, my left elbow, my left knee is hitting the floor as I back step kick. Okay. Here. One more time. Back step sit. Feed through, grip, here, boom. And I wanna put my hand on his forehead, or my forehead on his shoulder. That way when I'm pulling, he doesn't follow me. Cause if he, if I stay like this, he's gonna come and try to like follow this grip break. And sometimes it might not break. So I wanna stay here, okay? The second one takes a little bit, can take a little bit longer, okay? So I'm here, I'm on his legs, back step sit. So now what I'm doing, I'm here. Now I'm opening my knee to go shin on shin. Here, up, and then pushing him here. Oh. Now once I come here, if he's stay on my, no, no, what are you doing? Try to, try to stay on my, yeah, my pants. Okay, as he tries to stay on, I'm putting all the pressure in that direction. If you have to let go because of pressure, go ahead, let go. Here. Now you see how I trapped his hand, okay? Now once I'm here, control the hips. Now depending, if his grip is still there, then I just gotta grind him out, okay? I gotta grind until he releases, okay? Now as he's there, I just kinda come up and start working my leg into that folder position, right? And then I can start making my decision where if I go here, and then go back door, knee slice over, you guys know your options from there, right? You guys remember those? Like, slice over, back door it. Okay. So you guys remember how to open your knee and redirect it out, right? Yeah. So here. Last time here. Back step sit here. Now I go here. Open my knee here. I know it looked kind of weird just because I was trying to take some pressure off my toe, but I want to get my shin over his shin. And if he's still holding on, then he's still holding on. I can swivel break here. Lean. Oh. Now once I'm there, I can just move this over or back door. Yeah. Can you see your hand grips one more time? Let's just focus on the legs. For which, for which one? This is the first one or the second? Uh, kind of. Well, cause, and you guys got to remember in Dela Hiva, this this is a good position, but sometimes I play like this too, cause I'm I'm just focusing on killing his legs. So, here, back step sit, here, opening like that, driving my right shin here. You all right, Lee? Yeah. All right, and then now I can come up. Well, look to. Knee slice here, control the hips, and then I make my decision whether I go back door or knee slice over. Okay, so let's work those two and then we'll continue on with this. Okay, 
Let's go, ready, one, two, three.